Cyberlink's Photo Director 8 is a non-destructive raw workflow application with extremely useful everyday photo editing tools for both the novice and pro alike. It features a slick interface that is split into six modules. If you've worked with photo editing suites before, you'll feel right at home. For the complete beginner, there's a learning curve as with all photo editing software. In the library module is where you'll import, organize, and mark photos for editing. You can rate your photos, assign color labels, or reject photos you do not want to edit. In the adjustment module is where all the magic happens, and this is where you will spend most of your time. You'll find image information here as well with the histogram and metadata. You also have tools to quickly crop and straighten images here. There's a spot removal tool, to remove moles and birthmarks, for example, a simple red eye removal if you forgot to enable that in camera or if your camera does not have that function. You also have an adjustment brush which lets you paint over areas of the image and then make changes only to those painted areas or masks. You can quickly change the saturation, for example, of someone's lipstick to make the color pop. The adjustment selection tool allows you to fine tune all your selections. If you did a poor job selecting the area around the lips, you can easily correct it here. The gradient mask tool can be used to brighten a part of an image without affecting the rest. Observe how easy it is to brighten up the lower part of this landscape photo and recover some detail, all the while leaving the top completely untouched. The radial filter tool is the circular version of the gradient mask, and just like the other tools mentioned, there is no end to the creativity one can achieve with it. These tools aside, the library module is also the place where you can adjust the overall tonality of the image from the white balance to the exposure and beyond. You can tweak the highlights and darks to recover detail, saturate and desaturate images, or just affect skin tones with the vibrance slider. You can also affect certain colors individually here. Adjusting the color temperature along with the hue and saturation of the aquas produced a warmer, more inviting version of the sea and sand in this image. Rounding out the adjustment module are the sharpen and denoise sliders, which do a very nice job removing unwanted noise. Lens correction profiles and options are also found here. The edit module allows you to take any image you're working on and apply a host of effects to it. Your original file is preserved and a copy is created. All changes going forward affect only the copy. Portrait photographers will be happy to find that there are plenty of retouching tools here. Skin smoothing, toning, wrinkle, body shaping tools, and even a simple but effective teeth whitening tool all make their appearance. There is even a color isolation effect where you pick a color and the program removes everything except the color that you picked. You can then fine tune the removal of rough areas with a brush or add color back as you see fit. You can add overlays to an image and even download new ones from the company's website. These overlays are decent at best and it would have been nice to see the ability to change the density of some of these effects. The HDR merge tool is simple to use and works well for most purposes. You can stitch panoramas together, combine multiple shots, and even create watermarks here, which you can then later automatically add to all your exported photos. Thanks to the Layers module, you no longer need an additional program to manipulate layers, as Photo Director 8 lets you manipulate them on the fly. You can drag and drop other images as layers and start blending to your heart's content. You can also add text to images here. You can make this as easy or as complex as you want. And just like with the other modules, these changes made here are non-destructive. The slideshow module allows you to take your created masterpieces and turn them into moving multimedia productions. There's not a whole lot of flexibility here, but you can drag and drop photos, select your desired effect, pick a background music track, and create a slideshow. You can specify how long each image is on the screen, or have your dozens of images play out to the song's duration. You can also enter basic text. When you're done, you can export this creation into a media file that ranges all the way from standard 1080p Full HD to 4K resolutions. In the print module, you prepare your creations for printing. Just like with the slideshow tab, you can also drag and drop photos here and reorganize them as you wish. You can set cell size, height, and width, and even apply watermarks to each of the images. It would have been nice to see built-in support for creating photo books, but it is understood that this is best done online rather than at the software level. 
In conclusion, it is worth noting that Photo Director 8 Ultra is a powerful RAW editor and offers more tools than most will ever need. It supports an endless combination of cameras and lens profiles, and the program is a 64-bit application, and so far has been rock solid. It feels snappy and responsive, and export times were on par with the competition. There's also a 30-day trial for those wanting to take a look at all the program has to offer. The trial contains features from the Ultra package of Photo Director, and everything seen here may be replicated during the trial period. Overall, it was nice to see so many tools in such a complete package, making Photo Director 8 an easy recommendation.